forever. No, I'm not! Stop Motion Masterpiece Coraline was an exquisite adaptation of the 2002 fantasy novel by British author Neil Gaiman. The tale follows the protagonist, Coraline, as she discovers an alternate universe hidden behind a secret door in her new home. This dark, whimsical tale of a young girl's journey into a parallel world featured a lot of captivating moments that never saw the light of day. These deleted scenes, some hauntingly beautiful and others profoundly eerie, offer a unique perspective on the filmmaking process. The most people never get to see. And in today's video, we will be peeling back the layers of Coraline to unveil the deleted moments that never made it to the silver screen. If you love videos on hit TV shows and animated movies, do us a solid by subscribing to the channel and leave a like after you've watched the video. Mom, I want stuff growing when my friends come to visit. Isn't that why we moved here? Movie directors often cut scenes from their movies for various reasons ranging from maintaining certain pacing to reducing the movie's overall runtime. According to the director of Coraline, Henry Selick, they initially thought the project would take a few weeks to complete. But after working on it for a while, they soon realized how badly they were wrong. What was meant to be a quick 47-minute feature film soon became a tedious one-year project involving the efforts of 450 people. This means they had to shoot a lot of scenes with nearly 150 sets, and it's no surprise that some of the scenes never made it to the finished product. The first deleted scene from Coraline we would be looking at takes place early in the film, where her dad makes dinner for the family. What made this scene different from what most audiences saw at theaters was the conversation between Coraline's mom and dad. Her mom scolds Charlie for not backing up his data on the computer, but he downplays the accident on his computer and blames it on a virus of some sort. Coraline soon interjects by calling her dad's cooking a virus as a lighthearted joke aimed at the revolting food. This scene has some comedic elements unlike the one most people saw, which featured a gloomy Coraline who pretended she didn't know what was happening with her dad's computer. We understand that a comedic scene might not fit with the overall spooky vibe the producers were going for, so it made sense that the scene was removed from the final cut. Brick? I don't get it! They must have closed this off when they divided up the house. You're kidding. The second deleted scene we'll be going over takes place before Coraline discovers the passage to the other world. She walks in with some withered flowers and drops them on the table for her mother's catalog. Her mom, Mel, doesn't pay much attention to her, so she goes through the flowers inside the sink. After Coraline throws a bug in her mom's mug of coffee, she's bummed out to learn that her new school makes uniforms compulsory. Still, wallowing about the news, Mel gives her a piece of paper to draw something, and she proceeds to sketch out a swirling pattern that looks like the passage to the other world. In the dialogue with her mom, Coraline explains how much she misses Michigan, but Mel doesn't care about Coraline's feelings. After Coraline etches the drawing on a paper, the spirals take a life of their own, and it looks like she gets transported to other worlds, which is a stark difference from what most people saw in the main story. We're not sure if the scene features a mistake because of the quick switch to the alternate universe, but it's a unique scene that everyone should see. Are those dogs real? Ah, oh, sweet departed angels. Of all of the deleted scenes discussed in the video, the one where Coraline meets some ghost children is by far the least significant. In the scene, Coraline meets three ghost children who have been trapped in the other world for so long they forgot their names. They give Coraline a quick run through on how they were lured and trapped in the other world by another mother who wants to keep them there with her forever. Coraline learns that the other mother's real name is Beldum, and she intends to steal her soul by sewing buttons over her eyes. In the extended cut, we see the ghost children now with wings and angelic halos. They informed her that that mother is still alive and is after Coraline's life. The deleted scene and the one audiences saw in cinemas are almost identical, so unless you have a keen eye for spotting tiny differences in films, you might not be able to tell the difference. Where are you hiding, you little monster? You and Grandma been talking? The dolls are spies! 
Wyborn Lovett or YB serves as Coraline's accomplice as she explores the other world. After meeting YB, the geeky 11-year-old finds his way to Coraline's doorstep just as she discovers her parents are missing after returning to the real world. Coraline asks YB some questions, including one about his grandmother's race. The confused YB answers Coraline the best way he can, and after they're done talking, there's a few scenes cut from the movie to reduce its overall runtime. In the first scene, we see Miss Forcible opening her door and screaming the words, April, where have you got to? Another deleted scene has Coraline jumping on the rug as she runs upstairs. These scenes didn't add anything special to the movie, so we understand why they were cut from the film. Well, she says it's time for dinner. Breakfast. Food. Hop on, kiddo. Coraline's dad, Charlie, might not be the most interesting character in the 2009 movie, but audiences couldn't help but notice a spot of sauce on his shirt that sent fans into a frenzy. There was a lot of speculations about how he got the stain, and some fans spun up several theories to explain where it came from. Unfortunately for wild theorists out there who want to believe a creepy explanation for the sauce, a scene deliberately left out from the movie gives us a good reason for the sauce being there. In the to seeing Coraline and her dad play with a toy octopus in the bedroom and we hear a burping sound, which tells us that the man had a full dinner that night. Charlie apologizes for his bad manners but tells his wife and child that the pizza he had earlier was delicious. This short scene proves that the sauce was just regular pizza sauce, which makes us wonder why Henry Selleck chose to leave the stain in the clip that made it to cinemas. We have a theory that the director included the sauce in the video as an element of intrigue to the film to make audiences wonder, and it clearly worked. That know-it-all Whitey said it was all in Mr. B's head. I knew he was wrong. Well, everything's right in this world, kiddo. post credit scenes can trace its history back to 1966, when The Silencers became the first movie to feature a scene after the credits. According to the scene from the archive, Coraline also had an interesting scene that featured Coraline's dream and some dancing mice. The scene is an extended version of Coraline's dream, which also had a group of ribbon mice dancing in midair. A fascinating fact about the mice scene that fans might not realize is that it took 66 days to get the shot right and was all created by one animator. Most of us can't imagine working non-stop for 66 days just to discover that our input wasn't included in the final project. That was the reality for the animator who brought the deleted scene to life, and according to Henry Selleck, they cut it out of the film because they were worried some people weren't going to see it. We're not quite sure we agree with this reason for removing the scene from the movie, but we'd have to believe the director did what was best for the movie. I think you are so nice. I give you bowls of porridge and I give you bowls of Ugh. ice. While going through the hidden world of Coraline's deleted scenes, we journeyed through the abandoned fragments of Neil and Henry's vision of a dark fantasy and we loved it. The deleted scenes covered in this video remind audiences that filmmaking is a delicate dance between storytelling and editing, where every frame counts. While some scenes were removed to maintain the film's perfect pacing, others were sacrificed for time constraints and the need to emphasize certain plot elements. Nevertheless, they remained a testament to the depth of Coraline's world, showcasing the dedication and passion that went into crafting this dark fairy tale. What do you guys think about Coraline, and where does it rank in your list of stop motion classics? Let us know in the comments below. All will be swell soon as mother's refreshed, her strength is our strength.